CNN is doing a series on Middle America, where we get our news and how we know what's going on. More and more people find their news from platforms and avoid traditional media. There's a lot of fanciful thinking and distorted narratives circulating in the world today. Current events don't contradict these narratives because it fuels them. This is not a new phenomenon. If you watch local news, it's a different story. It's not objective, it's impartial. It's not worried about right or wrong or even what's moral. It's looking at how it affects you and others. It's the third option many miss as an important step in the living our lives process. Thank you, CNN, for visiting the Midwest. We hope you enjoy your stay. We'd like to invite you to be in community with us instead of judging us. It's the best kind of news story out there. Welcome. Welcome to Illinois Bridging Awareness. I'm Stanley Smith. Illinois Bridging Awareness is a splinter group of a splinter group. Coming together during the pandemic, it was sociology in action. That's what people do. They come together and then they fall apart. Those are two options, but there's always other options available if we step back and allow ourselves to see them. Here in downtown Chicago, our local Christian Science Church is hosting an event this month called Turning Fear into Healing. Psychology tells us we have six psychological responses, happiness, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust and surprise. There's plenty to fear in today's world, most of which we can't control. Regardless of whether we understand it correctly or know which side we should be on, we can control where we put our energy. We can take the energy focused on fear and convert it into healing. That's probably the good news we're all waiting to hear. God doesn't live in a moral universe. We do. God doesn't live in a right and wrong world because he's infinite possibilities. Doing what's right seldom has anything to do with morality. Morality is created by the majority of people, and that becomes the norm. Someone is always marginalized, and then we call it racism, white supremacy, or being a Republican. We do it to ourselves with our right, wrong, like, dislike, approve, disapprove, love, hate, worldview. We have other options like surprise and disgust or even embracing sadness. All of these are options, even if it's an exercise in exercising our options. On the call each week, people share where they are and where they're not. Many of us have opted out of things we had as part of our lives before the pandemic. But what have we taken up in their place? What have we brought into our lives? We watch platforms and we talk to each other. That's good and it, it builds community. If you talk to people, and I, I do, I talk to people, there's a greater awareness and convergence of thought, a greater situational, situational awareness, even if we don't understand it all. Community is growing. It's a natural out outgrowth of the pandemic narrative. Linda on the call has not been in church for a while, but she does pop into our call now and then, and that's a third option. Instead of being paid, we could barter. And instead of being medically treated, we could be healed. We do have options. None of us wanted to be part of this post-pandemic narrative, but here we are. There's a lot of collateral damage. We can continue to be here, or we can take the third option and do something. Wherever we are right now, we got here by doing a lot of something or by doing a lot of nothing. We have our physical selves and our spiritual selves. We're building a spiritual temple. And if the spirit is calling you to take action, then take action. 
look for the third option and let destiny be your star. We're not going to see any of this on CNN because they're blind to it. They're blind to community. They're looking for something in plain sight. It's not sponsored by a corporate sponsor, but it's okay. Everyone needs to be where they need to be. And if you're in the Midwest, well, please join us then on the Saturday call. The Saturday call is every Saturday at 9 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.